friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. You know I'm always thrilled to have you. So today I am going to share with you my favorite materials for making these figure drawings. Now I do these pretty much all from life um, and I have this wonderful, fabulous, nice toned paper that I love to use and I used to do them solely with uh, black and white um, but now I have kind of punched them up in the last like year, year and a half and I've started using obviously blues, I'll use purples, I do nice sepia tones so I feel like that has really sort of punched up my work and kind of sent it to the next level. So I'm going to share with you all those materials and supplies today. Um, if you are interested in procuring some for yourself, pretty please use the links down below. I am a Dick Blick affiliate and it really helps support my channel if you order any of your art supplies through my links. Um, if you have any questions more than what I have explained today, please drop them down in the comments because I always love engaging with you guys and making sure that my descriptions are nice and clear. So anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Don't forget to pop that subscribe button if you learn a little something. It helps grow my channel and it makes sure that you come back over and over again. Enjoy! Thanks guys! I'll be using this beautiful shoulder reference today. Check below for links if you need references for your own figure drawings. Hey everybody. So unfortunately my camera kind of shifted while I was filming and didn't realize it, but I think we're going to be just fine with this angle anyways. The first thing I want to go over is my favorite material, these incredible pastel pencils. Now I have tried a few different pastel pencils over the years and the Stabilo Carbothello brand has become by far my favorite. Not only is it smooth as silk drawing with these supplies, but they come in such a large variety of colors. I'm having a fabulous time matching my toned paper with alternatives to black for doing these figure drawings. Plus, they're not very expensive, and I love that you can buy them individually so you're not limited by a prescribed pack. Like I said, these Carbothellos come in a large variety, and I absolutely love using them as alternatives to black. Some of my favorites are Payne's Gray, Raw Umber, Prussian Blue, there's this amazing deep plum called Caput Mortem Violet, Bister, Burnt Umber, the list goes on and on. Check down below and I'll show you the ones that are my favorites. For erasers, I really have three main kinds that I use. When I really need to get something taken care of and removed, I use this one right here, my plastic or map eraser. When I'm going in to do a little bit of blending, I'm going to pull out my kneaded eraser for a nice smooth edge. And when I really need to get in there and get a little tiny teeny bit of detail erased, that's when I'm going to pull out my mono zero eraser. I actually have a video detailing all three of these erasers that I use with my pencil drawings, but they work just as well with pastel. Check below for links to see all the details on these fabulous erasers. And my favorite thing about using this fabulous tone paper is that not only do you get to represent low lights, but you get to represent highlights as well. Hooray! I absolutely love using these white pastel or chalk pencils. They really make my drawings pop. There's two different brands that I've found that I've liked. Generals works well, as well as another brand called Gial Coronda, which also makes pastels that I like. Stick around and I'll tell you all about those too. Being able to pop those highlights with these nice bright whites is probably my favorite part of these figure drawings. I wanted to share one more pastel brand that I liked and that was Giaconda. Now the only problem is that it's hard to find these not in a pack so that's why I usually tend to stick with the Carbothellas. But if you can find dark ones it's a really smooth brand as well. Now let's talk paper. My favorite brand is this Canson Meteants Pastel Paper. It has wonderful texture. I love the variety of colors. It's acid free and artist quality. The only thing that I don't like is that it only comes in these ginormous pads or big huge sheets of paper. You can't get it anything smaller. 
which is exactly why I started making my own sketchbooks out of this paper. I create my own hardback bound sketchbooks using a variety of cloth for the cover and a beautiful variety of paper inside. If you think you'd like to grab one of these during my next handmade sketchbook release, check below for links and I will keep you in the loop. I mean, honestly, just look at the tooth on that paper. You get a nice up close and you can see that gorgeous texture just wants to pick up every little bit of your pastels. Thanks for being here today, guys. I hope you learned so much. Make sure you pop that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.